All right, so y'all, this is number two out of uh, 2.4. It says graph the linear function, f of x equals one-fourth x minus three. Identify if it's a constant function, give the domain and the range. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna compare this because we are talking about linear functions. We're gonna compare this to y equals mx plus b, which is something that they probably drilled into us in high school a whole, a whole lot. So remember, m here stands for the slope, y'all. Slope is what we call the rise over the run. And the point zero and B is going to be my y-intercept. Okay. All right. So in this case, when I'm looking at the equation I have right here, it looks like my M is 1 over 4 because that's the number in front of the X. And the number in front of the X is 1 fourth. And my zero, and B, my zero B, it's always zero B. Okay, zero and whatever number. In this case, my B is a negative 3. So what does that mean I'm going to do? When I do my graph, y'all, I'm going to start down here at 0 and negative 3, which is right about there. My slope is a 1 fourth. So I'm going to move up one space and to the right 4. And that's what my line's going to look like, okay? So look, let me show you this on my lab. Come back over here. Let's see if we can enlarge our graph. Hit the little line button right there. So 0 and negative 3 is right there. Up 1 and over 4 is right there. Hit save, hit check, we got that part. Okay, now, is it a constant function? Let me answer the question really easy. If it was a constant function, y'all, my graph would look something like this. It would just go straight left and right. It wouldn't have any going up or going down, and you can see from my green line, that line is going up. So, coming back over here, is it a constant function? No, it isn't, because the graph actually moves up a little bit, or it could move down, okay? Final check, we got it. Okay, what's the domain? So I'm gonna come back to my original. The domain of any linear function, y'all, the domain is always gonna be all real numbers, everything between negative infinity and infinity. What the domain means is that you could come all the way over here, and if you go down, you're gonna hit the graph. Or you could come all the way over here, and if you go up, you're going to hit the graph. And no matter what point you pick along the x-axis, whether you go down or maybe even stay right there, or whether you go up, we're always going to hit the graph. So the domain is all real numbers, everything between negative infinity. Oops, let's see. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, backspace. Let me see, backspace. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to hit parentheses. So parentheses. Uh, negative infinity. There we go. Okay, parentheses. Uh, where's my negative? Ah, still not what I want to do. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Negative infinity, comma, infinity. And close my parentheses. There we go. Let's check it. There we go. We got that part. Okay, part B says, what is the range? Okay. Let me cut here. The range, y'all, refers to the set of the y values. So if I were to pick a point, any one of these points here, if I were to go to the left or if I were to go to the right, would I hit my graph? And the answer would be yes. And you say, really, all the way? Yeah, because think of way that the way this line goes. It really goes forever and ever, right? So even if I picked this point here, I would hit the graph. Even over here, I'd hit it at some point. Down here, I would hit it at some point, right? So the range is also negative infinity to infinity. So right here, I'm going to click parentheses, negative infinity to infinity, close my parentheses, check my answer, and we're done. Okay, so number two out of uh, 2.4.